75% of teens have either known someone or been in an abusive relationship. It could be your best friend, the guy you work with, or even you. The National Teen Dating Abuse Helpline has peer advocates who can help you recognize the red flags. Call 866-331-9474 or visit loversrespect.org. Trying to be nice, but something got lost in translation. So let me be perfectly clear. I'm sick of these stupid childish games. You're hurting me! You said I was lovely. You stood in this spot and said if I was more mature, you would want to be with me. When? I heard you talking to your father. Why do you think I would dress up like this for you? Yeah, you're really good at eavesdropping. Let's say I deal with something said directly to your face. I am not interested. Okay, now you say that, when you want to get rid of me. This floor show needs to end. Is that why you're blowing me off? Your father thinks I'm too young for you? You're way too young for me. All those times you were so nice to me. Look, I only talked to you. I only took an interest because I felt sorry for you. Now you need to leave. Take it outside. This is not a malt shop. Get out. You're underage. This is a bar and a gambling establishment. Get out and don't come back. That was not exactly the best way to handle a situation. You know Christina is Sonny's daughter. You could have handled that with a little more finesse, which surprises me because you are usually a lot smoother when it comes to women. <laughs> Christina's not a woman. She's a spoiled brat who's screaming out for attention. And stupid me, I gave it to her. I stepped in a few times and tried to give her a self-esteem boost. Well, if you're going to keep playing Sir Galahad and rescue these damsels in distress, this kind of thing is going to keep happening. Look, I told Christina as nicely as possible nothing was ever going to happen. So Christina hacks into my email pretending to be Jennifer canceling on me, and then she shows up here all dolled up expecting what? I had to get tough on her, right? She wouldn't take no for an answer. Shirley Temple, and I'll have one too. I really don't want to lecture for my big sister right now. Okay. Well, we don't have to talk about anything. We can just have our drinks, and then I'll take you home. Why'd you come looking for me? Actually, I, I didn't. I was meeting a client here, but I am kind of shocked to see you dressed like this and ordering a drink. I thought you were supposed to go out with Kiefer tonight. What, did you guys have a fight? I'm really not up for 20 questions. Well, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Hey, how, how did you get that? I don't know. Maybe I bumped into something. No, you did not bump into something. Somebody grabbed you, Christina. Who was it? It was Ethan. with Ethan tonight. Anyway. You can say it. I got what I deserved. I was totally humiliated, and this bruise on my arm just proves how stupid I am. No, 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 no. Don't even think that. Listen to me. I can't say this enough, but you deserve to be treated with respect always, okay? I sent an email to Ethan State, Jennifer, pretending to be him, so she thought Ethan was blowing her off. Okay, well, I don't care. It doesn't matter what you do. Under no circumstances should a man ever put his hands on you, ever. Do you hear me? I'm such an idiot. You are not an idiot. Don't say that. You know, when, when I was your age, I did much dumber things. Oh, like what? Like, well, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say what to you because I don't want to give you any ideas. Well, tell me. It'll make me feel better. Okay. So I was like your age and I was dating this guy and he went to go out with another girl and I didn't want him to so I went to his house and I put nails in his windows and his doors so he couldn't get out. Did it work? Sort of. I mean, he couldn't get out. He called me and he was like, come over, help. And I, I went over and I, I, I couldn't get him out so I guess it didn't work. It was so not a true story. 
No, it's not. Look, I, um, I did way worse things. Uglier, you know? And, and I, don't, I don't want that kind of stuff to ever happen to you. So, you know, you just, you, you, you make mistakes and you learn from them. And older. <laughs> what? Look, just because they're older, it doesn't make them better, okay? Oh, come on. All right, um, I did have to talk to you about something, actually. Mm -hmm. Your your dad came to me, and he wanted me to talk to you. Could we not talk about my dad right now? Wait a minute. Listen to me. <laughs> your father loves you. He wants to be there for you. And you know what? He's human. He's made mistakes, too. <laughs> I think that the reason I like older guys is something to do with my dad. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes the sound of an older guy is, like, really cool. But, but it's not. Because older, older guys know how to take advantage of girls, especially jerks like Ethan. When I was with Ethan, I felt better about myself. Are you kidding me? No, look, look at me, babe. You are smart. You're beautiful, you're amazing, and you don't need a guy, any guy, to tell you that to make it true. And if you ever have any doubts at all, you come to me and I'll set you straight. <laughs> I think maybe you should, you know, go wash your face and get into something comfortable. I, mean, I, I can stay and we can watch a movie or something. No, no, you can go. I'm I'm fine, I'll be fine. Okay. Well, call me, okay, if you need anything at all. Oh, look, no, you are but you're it. starting to jam them off. Oh, no, don't say that, because then I'll be in some serious trouble. Good? I love you. I love you too. spoke, but my sister is 16 years old. Stay away from her. And if you ever lay a hand on her again, you'll wish you hadn't. How could I be so stupid? I mean, I thought you canceled because you were mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? How should I know? I bet you and Ethan had a good laugh at me, right? It wasn't like that. I'm sorry. My first party with guys from Harvard, and I show up like an idiot because you're off chasing Ethan in a dress I paid for. 